This week we go on a slight detour from our normal programming and bring to you a van tour. Occasionally domestic flights pop up for less than a hundred bucks. And wait for it, wait for it. Look at this cool rig! Oh, no. Whoa! I'm gonna hang loose up And I found a cheap $50 flight to pop over from the British Columbia coast to the British Columbia interior. It's more desert highlands, it's wine country, and it's where my best friend Shelby lives. She's appeared on the channel a couple of times before, and we were gonna do a van tour of her van. This 1997 Ford F350 XL X U-Haul is the converted dream home on wheels. The vehicle's very, very mechanically sound and recently has had its transmission replaced. It has four, six new, because this is a dually at the back, all seasons AT high rated tires. The exhaust work has been recently completed, new ball joints, control arms, and steering components. So with that done, the fluids, the brakes, this vehicle is ready to roll. You might be thinking, why am I telling all of this? Why are you telling me this, Flossie? Well, this vehicle is currently up for sale, and I thought I would do this to help my friends out. I'll put the ad listing down below. Inside, it is decked out with everything that you might wish for in an, a self-converted RV build. I wasn't there for the winter, but you know. You know what? It's what you make of it. You get the exactly. right clothing and the right gear, and you're fine. Like, go out and enjoy it. Go snowshoeing, go skiing, right? Snow, he comes back from it. Set my mom and dad up on a blind date. No, no way. Yes, yeah. He was dating my mom's best friend, Denise. I don't know what her maiden name is. This RV has a camp chef oven with a two burner stove oven is underneath and makes excellent pizza. I know this for a fact because I had one in my previous van. Inside you have a fridge freezer powered by solar. For electricity this van has 400 watts of solar on the roof and two times 200 amp hour gel batteries. There is a diesel heater. There is a sink installed which is piped to a grey water tank underneath. Big system in the bucket. There's your toilet seat. Underneath the couch there is a slide out, a stool that contains a porta potty as well. I'm gonna get to the back This luxurious couch is actually six foot long, so it would double as an extra bed if you needed one. Thank you. There is a roof vent fan for those hot days for ventilation while cooking too. This van also has a giant king posturepedic bed with this beautiful mural that was created out of pieces of stained and glued pieces of wood. It's beautiful, I love it. Under the bed there is endless storage with cupboards and drawers that are also able to be moved around. Slide out table. I really 
hope you enjoyed this van tour. If you want to learn more about this van, you can check out the link below. It is actually currently for sale. This could be your future home. Woo! I hope you enjoyed this week's video. Thanks so much for watching. See you later. Bye. The perception of introversion sometimes does me no favours when invited to float the Penticton channel with a large group of my friends' friends, I got quite overwhelmed and opted to make friends with the fish and unfortunately picked trash up off the bottom. <laughs> There is a massive misconception. People think that introverts are shy and extroverts dance on the table. It's not that. With a large group of people I've never met before and the fear of small talk, I jumped into my happy place with the fish. feel drained in large groups of people and don't feel energized by it. I love my own company and I love deep one-on-one -on -one chats. As introverts we get our energy from being in our own company and it can be as nourishing as sleeping or eating or for me going for a swim. Which means that quiet alone time is definitely a benefit from my perspective. Beautiful of silences and peacefulness when I have my head underwater. A lot of people see silence as a precipice that they have to save themselves and everyone else from falling over. But as an introvert, I see it as a lovely, peaceful river. That people throw trash in! Ah! Completely different looking to BC. I was wondering why there wasn't as many forests and trees, and then I'm like, well, it's still rock. It's amazing. It's freaking beautiful. Now it's what these colors because why? Minerals. Minerals. I'm joining Look the out. party. But I film it in the highest resolution I can, then I can zoom in. Okay, I'm far. Yeah, it's beautiful. You gonna be able to open the door? It's wine district. Which one's that again? I'm gonna be tipsy after this. Fuck yeah, you are. Good job, I'm not driving. Antelope brush like an iceberg. It's one of the tallest above ground shrubs, but its roots go three times its height below the surface.
Redo, start now, it's recording. <laughs> BC has a native uh, cactus called the brittle prickly pear. I'm just showing you a whole bunch down there. Uh, the prickly pear's long sharp spines are actually modified leaves to design to minis minimize moisture loss. This is an amazing map, habitat diversity. Okay, so we have everything from alpine tundra through to coastal western hemlock into inter, interior cedar. Wow. You can see the hot areas, the mountainous areas, the coastal areas. Which bird was this? You can see its footprints. Sure, I need a snake class 101. <laughs> My field assistant always tells me I, I walk the walk, but I don't talk the talk. <laughs> How many times have you been bitten? Um, have lost count. I've never bitten by a rattlesnake. It's actually really cool. Nobody working on the Osoyas project has ever been bit in 20 years. everyone you are officially invited to the online premiere of my first ever documentary short film fellowship of the sea it will screen on september 14th pacific standard time which is vancouver i'll put the times for other locations here on the screen you can get tickets to attend this online screening below at my website, flossyrocks.ca. This is a three-part event over an hour. First, the documentary screening, then a more impersonal Q&A with the seals themselves, then a marine biology presentation of the creatures of the Salish Sea. There will be a short Q&A session at the end of the event. I look forward to seeing you all there. Thank you so much.